This is the egg car project. Performance expectation. Use Newton's laws of motion and conservation of energy to design a solution to a problem involving the motion of two colliding objects. Overview. How do people survive major car collisions? How are cars designed to reduce damage injury to both cars and passengers? You're a safety engineer for a major car company. Your mission, design and build a car with a strong bumper and restraint system. It must roll down a test ramp and crash into a brick wall while keeping its passenger, a raw egg, safe. Good luck. On crash test day, you will drive your car down a steep ramp with a raw egg and let it crash into a barrier. Caution, don't let this happen. The project is worth 100 summative points. Here's a look at the grading breakdown. And here's the timeline leading up to your crash test day. Let's start by looking at the criteria for the egg car project. These are the requirements that each car needed to meet to be successful. We'll take a closer look at each one. Your car must have four wheels, a windshield, and a bumper. The car's maximum dimensions cannot exceed 15 centimeters by 30 centimeters. If any part of the car exceeds these dimensions, it will be considered a violation. The egg must have a restraint system to keep it secure. Just placing it in a snug seat does not count. For full points, you must be able to put the egg into the car in less than 8 seconds. The egg must have a clear line of sight through the front windshield. The car should be able to travel a minimum of 1 meter during the ramp test. To earn full points, the car needs to travel at least 4 meters. The car and egg should be designed to withstand a high-speed crash. The egg must remain secure in the restraint system without cracking. The car should not flip or leave the track, and there should be no significant damage except in the crumple zone. Now that we've covered the main goals of the project, let's talk about the constraints. These are the limitations or requirements that your car design must meet in order to be successful. Keep in mind, you are not allowed to use pre-made materials for your car. This includes items like Legos or any pre-assembled components. Everything you use must be custom built for the project. The car must rely only on gravity to roll down the ramp and travel at least one meter during the initial test. The egg cannot be fully enclosed or wrapped in foam, cotton, or any other soft materials. Design advice. Here are some tips to help you build a successful egg car. There are various ways to design bumpers. Focus on reducing acceleration during impact. Explore different materials and design ideas. Bumpers that are too bouncy have a tendency to bounce off the track or flip over. Crumple zones help absorb the energy of impact and reduce the chance of the car flipping or flying off the track. It's better to have a longer car. Don't build it too square or it may get stuck in the track. Make sure to glue your axles on parallel to each other. If they are not parallel, your car will not go straight. This will make it difficult to reach the minimum 1 meter travel test. To help your car travel farther, you'll want to minimize friction. Make sure your wheels and axles move smoothly and avoid any parts of the car dragging against the ramp. Adding mass to your car can also help. It reduces the effects of friction and makes the car go faster. But keep in mind, more mass also means a stronger impact when the car crashes. If you add weight, keep it low to the ground and evenly distributed for better stability. Cars that are too top heavy might flip over the barrier. Before you start building, gather the right materials. What materials will you use to build the body of your car? Cardboard is a popular choice because it's easy to cut and glue together, but there are plenty of other options. You might try foam board for a sturdier frame, popsicle sticks for added support, or even recycled materials like milk cartons, plastic bottles, or paper towel rolls. Get creative and see what works best for your design. For your car to roll smoothly, you'll need something round for the wheels. Some great options include spools, CDs or DVDs, foam circles or spheres, bottle caps, container lids, or even cardboard cutouts. Whatever you choose, make sure they spin easily to keep your car moving. You'll also need two axles. Some options include wooden skewers or dowels, smooth, round pencils, or even straws to slide the axles through. A wheels and axle set is a popular option if approved by your teacher. Build a good bumper for your car. Be creative and do some research to find the best design. The bumper should help absorb impact either by creating a crumple zone that absorbs the force or by using materials that act like a cushion to protect your car and egg. Get creative and think about how to make your bumper work best. Your driver needs a safety restraint. 
First, build a seat to hold your egg securely. You can use small cups or even cut out or build a seat from a soft but sturdy material. Next, add a restraint like a seat belt to keep the egg in place. Rubber bands work great for this, or you can use straps and Velcro for extra security. Make sure your egg is safe and snug. Don't forget a windshield, plastic wrap, or a Ziploc bag works great. Consider the materials and tools you'll need to build your car. Not allowed. For safety reasons, no knives or blades can be used. Also, avoid using super glue. Stick to safer materials and tools. Follow this advice and you'll have an excellent car. Or how about this? Drive carefully or your egg might get scrambled. Okay, okay, last one, I promise. This project is no yoke. Make Newton proud. Alright, good luck on your project.